Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook. Look at me in my Barbie box. <laughs> I went to see the movie yesterday, and I loved it. Everybody should go watch it. It is as deep or as shallow or as mindless as you want it to be. Uh, it was absolutely fun. Anyhow, let me... Um, get rid of my big entrance how do i do that oh my goodness there you go poof it's gone <clears throat> this is coffee and headlines our morning get together live here on facebook a new barbie says brian bitch i am not new i'm 61 years old i am an old barbie <laughs> anyhow this is coffee and headlines our morning get together live here on facebook where we debate on the age of Barbies, where we take a look at headlines from our city, our state, and our country, and we combine that knowledge with whatever you bring to the table, questions, answers, suggestions, ideas, connections, and we just combine everything and try to improve on the quality of our life here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. This is what we do Monday through Saturday. If it floats your boat, please join us. And if you're here for the first time um, as, a, as a live guest, uh, please let us know and, um, and please write the word new in your comment and we'll give you a nice little welcome. Jeff or Gayoff says, "How was Barbie? Oh, it was it was stunning. It was stunning. Of course, I was wearing my my Apache's sweat rag, which is pink, which was perfect for my ensemble. Uh, everyone should go to Apache's and get one uh, because it's the perfect access accessory for this summer. For your summer pink schwitz, just get a pink sweat rag from Apache's, and you'll be." all set to go. Also, as always, if you have something really important to say, it helps if you add a capital letter uh, Q, like Claude has done. Not at all, Barbie, just gently views. Oh, honey, I've been roughed up a couple of times, but I survived. I mean, I was seven and a half pregnant months when I came out, so even my arrival was roughed up. Mom, uh, well, that's another story. I'm a preemie. I'm a preemie. So my arrival to this world was roughed up. And look, I turned out okay. But it's not about me. It's about you and the news that we bring to the table. So let's get started with that. Today we have news that are mostly commentary, but these are important and sad news. Let me put it up because um, it is safe to say that most of us enjoy, there it is, Enjoy the rain. Rain is a good thing. And the first major storm of the season, along with the rain we've experienced this week, are nothing to frown upon until, of course, you walk to the beach 
because unfortunately heavy rain brings higher water levels in regional rivers, which brings to light the complex problem of trash. All kinds of debris from plastics to soda cans to furniture get dragged into the ocean. And this is very unfortunate because of two combined factors. There is the lack of cultural education among the population and as it relates to garbage management and disposal. And then there's also the local authorities' lack of proactive preparation. The problem is also evident in uh, the many water canals in our city that help direct water streams all the way into the ocean. In years past, the municipality performed periodic cleaning and maintenance to these canals prior to the rain season. This year, it would seem that some canals were either not as cleared as they used to, or not all of the canals were cleared, or perhaps the amount of trash disposed of by nearby residents increase. The outcome, regardless, is an excessive amount of waste, including tires and other large debris that can easily clog drains as re and result in incidents such as the collapse of the Insurgentes uh, Street Bridge two years ago. We knock on wood and hope that nothing that catastrophic happens again. But um, all over town, there are a number of headlines that have to do with trash. What can we do about it? Just be mindful of our own trash. And if it is in our heart and our soul to participate in cleanup exercises that take place here and there in the city every now and then, you know, please consider participating in those and just be a good role model for those people around you and just take good care of your trash, putting it where it belongs. Now, I don't know if this is directly related or not, but Dr. Jaime Alvarez Sayas, who oversees our sanitary region, informed that the Federal Commission for Protection Against Sanitary Risks, or COFEPRIS, the same people that are supposed to police our restaurants for smokers or lack of thereof, has been in town sampling water from different beaches to ensure that the water is fit for swimming during the current vacation period. At present time, everything seems to be okay. However, Dr. Alvarez said we have to wait and see the results. Now, seven beaches are monitored here in Puerto Vallarta and three of them are monitored in Cabo Corrientes by measuring the number of caca cells in the water if the number exceeds 200 caca cells <laughs> per every 100 milliliters, then the water is not fit for swimming. Or as Luna has likes to say, Luna says that the water has been cacified. I don't know about that. Anyhow, <laughs> moving right along, Nayarit Governor Miguel Angel Navarro Quintero has announced that starting today, the Tepic Airport has been elevated to the category of international airport, allowing for the arrival and departure of flights from all over the world. Adding that the upgrades presently taking place at the airport will be concluded by year's end. Now, according to the National Weather Service, more heavy rain is expected throughout Jalisco, Nayarit, and Colima today. I took a quick peek into Windy, and it was easy to spot. There is this little mass of wetness that is covering the coast, and there's little Puerto Vallarta. So we can expect some rain to fall during the day. Let us see what snarky weather has to say about this. And snarky weather says, open your survivalist bunker, rain starting in 45 minutes. Well, that's pretty definitive. It is 28 degrees, and by the way, it was a great night last night. It was so fresh and wonderful and cool. 28 degrees right now, humidity is at 82%, and our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 82. Our weather forecast for today says thunderstorms. There you go. Light winds, chance of rain 67%, with a high of 30 and a low of 25 and tomorrow, rain in the morning with overcast skies in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 17%, a high of 32, and a low of 24. 
And Thursday, we'll experience a humid day with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. A chance of rain of 34%, a high of 32 and a low of 24. So there you have it. Um, I hope no bridges get too crazy with trash because that would be very unfortunate. Moving right along, I had to, I think I had to unruffle some feathers yesterday because of a statement that we made. Let me explain myself. Yesterday, I announced that this dude, a dentist and influencer from Guadalajara, has been named the most handsome man in America in a recent competition. His name is Luis Carlos Garcia Cuadra. I quickly announced that he is not my type, but even so, PIDA, my personal inflatable digital assistant, got a little ruffled. Of course, I think PIDA is a lot more handsome than that dude, but, pre, but PIDA was a little bit ruffled, and he even prepared a little something for you. I was not going to dive into the tequila, um, World Tequila Day, but it seems to me like PIDA had something to say. Let's check it out. Thank you, Paco. Here's the story. Tequila holds significant relevance in today's world as it continues to gain popularity and global recognition. Beyond being a cherished spirit in Mexico, its country of origin, tequila has become a symbol of celebration, culture, and craftsmanship worldwide. With an increasing interest in artisanal and authentic products, tequila's traditional production methods, involving agave cultivation, harvesting, and distillation, have captured the fascination of connoisseurs and enthusiasts alike. Additionally, the rise of mixology in cocktail culture has further elevated tequila's status, inspiring a plethora of innovative and refreshing drinks. Moreover, sustainability and environmental concerns have prompted the industry to focus on responsible agave farming practices, making tequila a prime example of how alcoholic beverages can adapt to the modern world's changing values. Overall, tequila stands as an iconic and versatile spirit that continues to make its mark in today's diverse and evolving global drinks scene. Yeah. Here are 10 interesting tequila facts for your consideration. Ooh. Number 1. Tequila is a distilled spirit made from the blue agave plant, primarily grown in the Mexican state of Jalisco. It can only be called tequila if produced in specific regions of Mexico, adhering to strict regulatory standards. Number 2. The heart of the blue agave plant, known as the piña, is used to make tequila. It resembles a large pineapple and can weigh anywhere from 40 to 200 pounds. Number 3. While both tequila and mezcal come from agave plants, they are different spirits. Tequila must be made from blue agave, while mezcal can be produced from various agave species, resulting in distinct flavor profiles. Number 4. Tequila comes in different aging categories. Blanco, unaged, reposado, aged 2 to 12 months, añejo, aged 1 to 3 years, and extra añejo, aged more than 3 years. Each stuff. category imparts unique characteristics to the final product. Number 5. Contrary to popular belief, tequila does not traditionally contain a worm in the bottle. This misconception likely stems from mezcal bottles that sometimes include a moth larva known as a gasano. Number 6. <laughs> One of the most famous tequila-based cocktails is the margarita. Its origin is widely debated, but it's believed to have originated in Mexico during the 1930s or 1940s. Number 7. The process of making tequila involves harvesting the agave, cooking the piñas, extracting the juice, fermentation, distillation, and, in some cases, aging in oak barrels. Number 8. The Mexican government protects the production of tequila through designation of origin status. Oh, yes, they do. This ensures that authentic tequila is made following specific guidelines and only in designated regions. Number 9. The blue agave used to make tequila takes about 8 to 12 years to mature before it can be harvested, contributing to the spirit's exclusivity and value. Number 10. In Mexico, when taking a shot of tequila with friends, it is customary to say, salud, meaning, health, in Spanish, before drinking to wish each other well-being and prosperity. 
And that's the story today. Now back to you, Paco. Oh, Papi. <laughs> Pita, I love it when you talk to me like that. Jesus, you're so happy to be here. I, oh my God, I'm blushing like a schoolgirl. Anyhow, um, blushing like a schoolgirl. Where's my Barbie chingadera when I need it? Uh, it's not here. Anyhow, let us get into the chit chat section just to see what you guys are up to today. Yay. Good mornings and good afternoons to you all. From the Lake of the Ozarks to Woodland Hills to somewhere in Canada, Mihal. Yay, Mihal. It's great to read you all. I love it. Let's see. Finally getting so much needed rain in Hope, Baja California. Not BC. BC is British Columbia, Paco, not Baja California. Thank you for that report, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> oh, a new Barbie. I love that. Um, of course, broadcast Barbie. Thank you, Logan. We had such a good time at the movies yesterday. It was absolutely fun. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Oh, there's a cue. Kathy has finished with physical therapy. Good. This is good. As the asshole cat decided to shred her exercise instructions the other day. Oh, there you go. So all you need is an asshole cat to get rid of your instructions so that you're done. See, if I went into a fitness program, I would like to have Luna shred the instructions so that I don't have to do it. There you go. Uh, let's see. There's a question. Where is the new airport in Nayarit, close to Nuevo? And the Vallarta Airport is going to be also in service. That's three questions in for the price of one. Where is the new airport in Nayarit? There is no new airport in Nayarit. It's the Tepic, city of Tepic Airport that is getting overhauled. Close to Nuevo? Nope. It is in Tepic, and Tepic is still the same distance to Nuevo as it used to be. And the Vallarta Airport is going to be also in service. Yes, it is, and it is also going through an expansion. There you go. Let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness, somebody's thirsty this morning. Tequila, tequila, tequila. Good. Lovely. Um, interesting facts about tequila. Thank you, Ramona. I was not going to go there yesterday, but clearly, Pida had other intention uh let's see Pudding, pam, pum, pam, pum. <gasps> i didn't know that did you know that japan wanted to take ownership of the tequila but the mexican government really fought it because it belongs to us i know that different countries at one point or another have attempted to produce their own tequila but this is why tequila has that protection denomination which is respected in a number a large number of countries uh, where you cannot just go ahead and bottle your own chingadera and call it tequila i mean you can bottle whatever you want you simply cannot call it tequila or sell it as such and this my friends brings us to the end of today's coffee and headlines Tomorrow is Wednesday, tomorrow is, and Thursday, of course, Thursday is our music appreciation presentation, and then on Monday, is it on Monday? Is it really on Monday? We're having a, a meet and greet. When is a meet and greet? On Tuesday. We have a meet and greet on Tuesday, August the 1st. I'm excited for that. It's going to be a lot of fun, so if you have nothing better to do, uh, spend some quality time with us on Tuesday afternoon at Whiskey Kitchen. I'm sure we'll announce it again. What? Some say the margarita was created in Texas. Alan. That would be devastating. I don't know. Well, again, we'll have to look at the origin of margarita at some point, but not today. Today is about continuing to prepare for Thursday's presentation and getting together with some friends later on. But right now, I'm just grateful for your company and I'm hoping that you'll have a dry day today. Don't get caught in the rain if you can help it, but uh, do enjoy it. It brings so much fresh air to our surroundings. Stay happy, stay dry, and stay in touch, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.